And now I greet thy human! Salutations! Welcome back to some more Pucket Monsters! Blanco! Or something. I don't know, I'm like mixing all sorts of languages together. Uh, I figured that was a way to differentiate it between Hello Humans! But if you so insist, Hello Humans, I'm Yo Stiller! And we've got the badge check here! Alright, there's my basic badge. That looks cool. Here's my toxic badge. That looks cool. Here's my insect badge. That looks cool. Here's my bolt badge. That looks cool. Here's my quake badge. That looks cool. Here's my jet badge. That looks cool. Here's my legend badge. That looks cool. Here's my wave badge. That looks cool. And that's all of them. Ooh. 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 Looks so cool. It's not necessary, but it looks cool. No question. Say you were an older trainer and you got your first gym badge in Striaton City. The other badge check in the original black and white doesn't have. Or let's say you got one badge in Striaton City and you got another badge in like Burbank City. So you had that trio badge and you had the toxic badge. And there's two badge checks before you go on to Victory Road. Or there's two different badge checks before you go on to Victory Road. There's the one I just took and there's the one in the original black and white. Because you have the trio badge and the toxic badge, you couldn't go through either badge check because you wouldn't have the eight badges that matched up. So you would never be able to go <laughs> into Victory Road because you decided to mix and match your badges. Ash did that in the anime. Yeah? Do I want to take Zoroark with me? Yeah, I'll take Zoroark. All right. That should do it. Let's go. Oh, oh, and uh, let me teach. I can't teach Waterfall or anything. Let me flamethrower to Zoroark real fast. Actually, I don't know if I want to take Zoroark with me, but I definitely want to teach, teach it flamethrower. All right, here we go. Because Zoroark's actually a good special attacker. Uh, let's get rid of Scary Face. I don't know how often I'm going to need to lower someone else's speed, and if I do, usually I'll just paralyze them with Jolt. Let you do it. And, yeah, I'll, I'll take Lucario back. It's more effective toward more types and whatnot. Uh, uh, okay. You, I will take you. Sorry, Zoroark. My two Pokemon that know fire type attacks are gonna have to stay. And I guess I should stock up on some supplies before I go into Victory Road. Okay, um, I'll take some. Oh, I got plenty of revives, but I'll take even more. Take like eight more of those, and I'll take some of those. Now, Victory Road, I don't know, it depends on the game as to how bad it is. Hopefully it's not that bad in this game. Like in, in the Johto region, you finish Victory Road in like a minute. In Kanto, it's frustrating. Cohen, it's rather frustrating. And, you know, that wasn't so bad. And I don't remember for Sinnoh. I think Sinnoh was kind of frustrating. I mean, obviously if you know your way through it, it's not so bad, but first time through, not easy. Kanto was probably the most frustrating victory road. But anyway, let's switch. Or actually, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Alright, I'm good. Okay, without further ado, Victory Road! And here we are, guys. Victory Road. Interesting, it's just a bunch of mashed up bricks and stuff. Ah! It's a bandit! If you need a ghost type, now would be an appropriate time to get one. But I've got Golurk. I've got Golurk. Don't freak out. Golurk's on my PC right now, though. Anyway, let us battle you! You! Who's brought you this far? I don't know. I brought myself this far. And I am ready to challenge you! I've got six Pokemon on hand and three in my PC. Alright. Here we go. Drip Limb, another ghost type. A ghost flying type Pokemon. It's got unique typing. That and it's free evolution. But because you're part flying type, that means you're weak to electric types, and that means I can use Jolt to beat you! Here we go, discharge! There we go. Is that gonna be enough? Ah, oh, I did about half. <gasps> oh, but it paralyzed you! That's handy! Stockpile. That'll raise your special defense. Uh, so discharge probably won't kill you, but... Whatever. I'll use it anyway. There we go. Nerg. Oh, oh, payback. That's gonna hurt. Even though it's a dark type attack, it's still gonna hurt. Ow! 
I will kill you with charge beam, so at least I can raise my special attack before I kill you. Duh. There. Done with you. Okay. So that's taken care of. Jolt is now level 43. Awesome, awesome. Alright, and uh, Claydol. Claydol is a ground psychic type. I unfortunately do have to switch. Uh, Claydol is frustrating to fight against, but I've got Drapion, which can not get hurt by psychic type attacks, so it can get hurt by ground type attacks. Because I'm part dark type, I should be able to do some good damage to it. Hopefully. Uh, not really. Ah, uh, and I'm dead. Man, if I had a dark falling type, I would counter you. If only I had a hunch crow. Or a mark crow, I guess. Or a Volibee. But, alas, I have neither. Alright, let's end to my newest Pokemon. My Wild Wings, my Blowbot! Here we go, Megahorn. Bug is super effective towards Psychic, and though I don't get the same type of attack bonus from it, should be enough to kill you. For it is the... It does have the highest base power of any bug type attack. Aw, oh, I didn't kill you, but oh well. I'll kill you with, uh, that charge. Alright. Hang in there, Bluffalot. Hang in there. Die! There you go, goodbye, Claydol. Ah, oh, Bluffalot, I only recently caught you, and you're certainly being handy. There you go, Bluffalot, I'm at level 50! That's what I'm talking about. Whew! You're tough. I'm thankful there's a Pokemon sensor right out here. Alright then, and I can't go that way, alright, so let's... Uh, more stuff, huh? Another bandit! Alright. So maybe a ghost or a dark type Pokemon is a good idea, is a good type to have with you. I mean, I've got Golurk in my PC, but I'm not gonna bring it. I've got Zoroark, but I'm not gonna bring Zoroark, but I've got Dravion, and I'm bringing my Dravion. So yeah. For now, I must... I gotta go back and heal! Stop encountering me! Stop it, bandit! Leave me alone! I must go back and heal! You don't understand, you ghost! Because you're already dead, you don't know what it's like to be living and suffering. Or maybe you did. You probably did, actually. I don't know. I, I, sh I shouldn't. I shouldn't make assumptions. Because you know what they say. Never assume. Because it makes. A, well, you know. Anyway, let's heal up. All right. Yes, sir, Joy. Take my Pokemon. Heal them right before your very eyes, and return them to me. Okie dokie, well, that's that. Now, bag. Uh, items. Should give stuff to stuff. Give the XP share to. Uh, Drapion, because you could use it, buddy. You're only level 40. And, uh. Uh, switch you to the front. Because you're, you're, you're tough, and. Jolt has gotten enough experience on the way here to Victory Road. Okay, so here we go. You can do this. Oh, actually, I should probably use a super repel or something. And because Bluffalon's level 50, hopefully I can repel off some stuff. I don't know. I do have repels, right? Do I not have repels? No, no, no. I have. I do not have repels. Shoot. Ah. Fine. 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 It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I should buy some repels, and I don't think I'll need that many. For now, I must sell some stuff. Here we go. Uh. Uh. Alright, let's see. What can I give you? Give you those. I'm not gonna need those. Uh, and, uh, I can't sell you the big nugget, can I? No, I can't sell you the big pearl. I don't know who buys those. I guess I can sell. Oh, lots of money. I'll sell the Ultra Balls. I don't need to catch anything anytime soon. I'll sell the Dive Balls. I definitely don't need those. Stupid of me to buy those. And I'll hang on to the luxury balls, because you never know. You never know. I Oh, Star Piece. Yes, please take that. Okay. Now, let me buy stuff. So, let me get let me get uh full heal. I'll I can use a full I can use a full heal. Uh I'll take an escape rope. Just in case. You never know. I might need to evacuate and heal. And then definitely some super repels. Give me ten of those! Fork them over! Alright, I'll save the rest for, for when I actually get through Victory Road. Alright, I don't know how many parts it's gonna take me to get me through Victory Road. I'm, I'm gonna guess no more than three. I'm definitely not gonna finish it in this part. It's been like ten minutes. I've hardly taken any steps. Alright, well, let's go! I'm sorry, let's go! Fought you! 
Ugh, do I really need a Pokemon with Strength? You know what? No, I'm not getting an HM Slate for this. Ugh, no, it's a Golurk. I have a Golurk. All right, so I guess you could catch one. I thought that you couldn't catch uh, a Golet or a Golurk till after game, but apparently you can. So technically, you can legitimately get one. All right. Ugh. So you have to teach a Pokemon Strength. So Strength would actually be good for my Wolfalon because I'll get the same type of attack bonus from it, and it's a decent attacking move. And yeah, so I'll give Strength, which I got here, to my Wolfalon. So I can move these rocks, and so it has another normal type of attacking move, and head charge. So, so in case I don't want to take recoil damage, I'll have strength. And I'll get rid of uh, focus energy, because that's a somewhat pointless attack. I'm going to rely on critical hits, I'd hold a razor claw or something along those lines. Okay. Yes, please push it aside, wild wings. You don't fly, so you've got no wings, but you're a buffalo. Sorry, I don't like buffalo wings. Just, I was just told to name you that. Let's fight! Fight, fight, fight! You're an ordinary opponent. Ah, oh, more ghost types! More ghost types! More ghost types. If you don't have a Golurk... Uh, well, hang on. I'm starting with Buffalo on, so I can't hurt you. Wait, that's not a ghost type. It's a psychic skill type. You're... I use Mega Horn. I don't know. I don't recall Steel... Resisting bug, it probably does though, but let's see. We'll see in a second. Okay, it does resist bugs, so that'll only do neutral damage, and that's gonna hurt. Inserting Metang and its evolution. Or uh, its evolution. Metagross is a pseudo legendary, meaning it's got stats that are somewhat close to legendary. Um So its pre-evolution isn't that bad, which is Metang. And Metang is, or uh, Metagross, its evolution is a good physical attacker, so I'd imagine Metang's pretty good as well. Die, Metang! There you go. Bye, Metang! Good job, Wuffalon! Jeez, this Wuffalon's serving me well. I'm glad I was told to catch this loot. Confagrigus, okay. Can't do too much about that. So, let's go to Biter! Then use some powerful Dark-type attacks! And then eliminate it! If need be, I can poison it as well. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, hang on, I think Ghost Resist Poison or something like that. Something weird. And now my ability to, my ability is Mummy. You're using Calm Mind, but that's okay, because I'm using physical attacks. So it's not that big of a deal. Here you go. Uh, Night Slash again. Oopa! It's not doing that much damage, but sooner or later I'm going to kill him. Preferably sooner than later. And see, I got a critical hit. Though, Night Slash has a high critical hit rate anyway. Oh, you're using Calm Mind so you can boost your special attack, huh? Well, you are going to die, come back, because one way or another. There you go. Goodbye, Compagricus. Huzzah! Get out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Goodbye, I win. And is it worth it to go back and heal? I guess I'm just gonna go. I'm out, I'm out of this cave part. I guess there's different sections. I'm in a forest section now. And I shall fight you, traitor! Okay, and it looks like there's a cut tree over there, so I guess I'm gonna have to go to the right. Please tell me I don't have to teach anything, cut. I don't wanna have to teach like 50 HMs. My Subat! Subat is a psychic flying type. Alright, well, thankfully I can use normal type attacks on this one, so let's uh, smash it with my head. Oh, I'm probably gonna die before I have the chance to do that. <gasps> oh, I'm alive! But the recoil is gonna kill me. Oh well. Hopefully, I'll kill it in the process. I did not kill it in the process. Oh well. Tis fine, Wild Wings. You have done a good job. Let's go, Drapion. Drapion! Uh, bite it with poison. This fangs of sorts. Oh, I'm alive with one HP. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Swoobat. Here we go. Drapion is now level 42. Awesome, awesome. And Lilligant. Lilligant is your grass type, huh? Well, I've got the poison type, and grass is the only thing weak to poison types, at least in this generation. Generation 1 bug was also weak to poison. Yay, and you're poisoned. Now I'm about to die, but whatever. I poisoned you, and that's all I needed. Nah, uh, goodbye, Drapion. You did a good job. Okay. Let's go to... Suwana! Because Suwana is a flying type, and flying is super effective for grass. Grass has a lot of different weaknesses. It's weak to fire, flying, bug, poison, and ice. That's five weaknesses, alright? That's five. Arrgh. And it's only good against rock, ground, and water. 
However, there's still a few grass type Pokemon I like. Like my favorite Pokemon is Bailey, and Bailey is a grass type. There you go. Anyway, don't sell. Finish this up. And I've got the lucky eggs, so this will do plenty of damage. Alright, here we go. Discharge it, jolt! There you go. And let's see how much experience I get. Yeah! Jolt is now level 44. Alright, well that's that. And my Pokemon are dead, so I should probably go back and heal. Can I fly out of here? I don't know. I'm, I think I'll just keep going. There's an item over there. Yes, please use another Oh, wait, but Wuffle One's dead, so I'm probably still going to encounter... No, I didn't encounter anything. I got an Ultra Ball! I'll sell that for money! Or maybe there's like a shiny Pokemon I'll, catch, I'll encounter and I'll catch it. Please let there be a shiny Pokemon. It's probably not going to happen, but whatever. Uh, Alright, so continuing on. So there is different sections here. I'm at the bridge section, it looks like. Okay! Let me down with you! Papa! Papa! Hi, veteran Kathy! You've got the Sigalith! Another psychic flying type, except Sigalith is a lot better than Swoobat, but I've got Jolt! And Jolt is super effective toward this thing. And I'm hopefully faster, so here we go. There we go. Ah! Oh, Sigalith is speedy! Ah ha ha, though it is 11 levels higher, but still, Jolt is pretty fast. Jolteon. Jolteon's highest stat is speed. I just don't understand. Well, I do understand. I'm just trying to reason against it. Do I have, like, any specific berry that cures sleep? Frost. I didn't even know there was a berry that cures frost. Alright, it doesn't look like I do, so I have to... I have to use a full heal, don't I? Fine. I'll use one of my full heals. I guess I can buy more after I get through Victory Road. Hang in there, don't! Alright, that did more than half, and you're faster. Maybe... Maybe you'll use hypnosis again and miss. Nope. This trainer is smart. And again, I am on Victory Road, so I guess I should expect all the trainers to be smart. This is where the toughest of toughest trainers go, even though there's going to be tougher trainers in the afternoon. Anyway, I've got Gigalith. Gigalith can definitely take one hit. It's got sturdy, so I'm going to hopefully Stone Edge and kill you. Hang in there, Gigalith. Good job. And hopefully that's enough to kill it. <laughs> Good job, Gigalith. See, Gigalith is in the lowest tier of Pokemon. It went professionally battling, but in game, because it has sturdy, so good, so good. And Crobat's definitely a really fast Pokemon. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's like the second fastest in Generation Two. There you go. Goodbye, Crobat. Giggle, you're amazing, dude. Wow. All right. It's a shame that Giggle isn't that good for professional battle, but in game, in game, Giggle is awesome. Or in a uh, story, I guess. Not professionally battling. Alright. Jeez, everything's dead. Uh, oh, I can fly back to the Pokemon Center, though. Wait, Pokemon Victory Road. Here. Thankfully, I can fly back. Thank you, game designers. Or developers. Or both. Thank you. Thank you, Pokemon Company and Game Freak and Nintendo and all the other people that designed this game. Satoshi Sajiri! Satoshi Sajiri, you are the creator of Pokemon. And I don't know if you specifically told them, make sure they can fly out of this place so they can heal their Pokemon, but I like you for creating Pokemon anyway, so thank you, Satoshi Sajiri. You guys want to know some interesting facts? In the anime, in Japan, Ash is called Satoshi, named after the creator of the show, Satoshi Sajiri. Gary, in Japan, is called Shigeru, named after Shigeru Miyamoto. Now, Gary doesn't act like act anything like Shigeru Miyamoto. Gary in the anime is like a jerk. Shigeru Miyamoto is probably the nicest guy ever, for all I know. I mean, he's always so happy. All he wants to do is make games. <sighs> and, uh, yeah. Probably because they were somewhat rivals. I mean, Super Mario Bros. is the most popular series ever. Um, and it's created by Shigeru Miyamoto. And Pokemon has got to be, like, the second or third most popular series ever. I mean, in terms of sales, is the second most popular series ever, and it's created by Satoshi Sajiri. So in that sense, I guess they're rivals. But I don't think they hate each other or anything. I gotta think they get along. Especially since they both work for Nintendo. Oh, a doctor! Oh, I didn't have to fly back, huh? I could've just fought the doctor in heal, and I got a max repel. Cool. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Oh well. Tis fine, I suppose. Okay, uh, I don't even know what's over here, but I'm gonna check it out anyway. Oh, f really? So if you don't want to, if you don't want to fight that one trainer, you can just surf around. What a rip off! Whatever. 
Okay, uh, let's fight the doctor so I don't have to fly all the way back next time I want to heal. So let's get this over with. What are you gonna have, doctor? You've got a Clefable! Oh, Clefable! It's a normal type Pokemon, but it's pretty HP or defensive heavy or specially defensive heavy or something like that. So let's see how much uh, head charge will do and we'll determine if it's defensive. Ooh, wow, that did a lot more than I thought it would. Minimize raises your evasiveness, which is the equivalent of lowering my accuracy, so it makes, me harder to, it makes it harder to hit you. That's fine, I suppose. Because I hit you anyway, and you're gonna die. Uh, yeah, goodbye, Clefable. Goodbye, Clefable. Okay, there you go. So my newest, the new, the Pokemon I obtained most, the Pokemon I obtained the most, Wuffalot, okay? Wuffalot is my most recent Pokemon. And in terms of levels, it's the highest level thing on my team. Shows you how weak my Pokemon are, okay. Uh, uh, um, okay, I'll go back in there. I'll fight you real fast. Let's do it. Oh, wait, wait, this is a cave section, huh? So that means you're probably gonna have, like, rock or ground type Pokemon. Please let it be a ground type Pokemon, so Buffalon can, act can actually stand a chance. I mean, I've got, I've got Suwano. Ah, you got a Gigalith. Well, I've got Megahorn, and Megahorn does neutral damage. Although bugs are super affected by rock, bug type attacks do neutral to rock. So hopefully that'll do some decent damage. And now, oh, that was a critical hit, really. Oh, Bufflant screwed. Oh, well, I guess not. That Bulldoze is just gonna lower my speed. Now, even though I'm still faster, Gigalith is ridiculously slow. I guess it's a good thing that I can take hit. Sandstorm! So I'm gonna get hurt every turn, and my accuracy, I guess, is down. I think Sandstorm messes up your accuracy. Let's see if Reversal is gonna be enough to kill you. Hopefully it is. I mean, my HP isn't that low, but that should be enough to do that. It's not enough to do a tiny sliver. Reversal, if you don't know, is a fighting type attack that deals more damage the lower your HP is. And it's ideal for a Pokemon with Sturdy, because you can survive with one HP and then use it. Though Reversal isn't the best attack to use for professional battle, and I'm gonna die! Freaking giggle, you have like one HP left. But not, and it's not because you're sturdy, and you kill my Buffalant. Whatever. Okay. Uh, I've got Tsubana, and I'm gonna surf all over your rocky face. There you go, goodbye, giggle. Tsubana is getting some EXP! Yay! Not enough to level up though. Or by the sandstorm. Skarmory! Steel flying type. I'll just stick in. My Suwana is a special attacker. Minus the fly attack. But Skarmory is a physical defender, and I didn't do as much as I hoped it would. Well, hopefully I can kill a Skarmory soon enough. That is the goal, and that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, I, I guess because it's a steel, a steel type, it doesn't get hurt by the sandstorm. So I guess trainers in here are gonna have rock, ground, steel, maybe fighting types. Definitely rock and ground. All right, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like my Suwana is gonna kill you. I know it's Swana. I know people are gonna. Oh, you're Shiller Swana. Well, my nickname, or it reads Suwana. It's Su, and then the Japanese symbol for Wa, and then and my Swana they didn't kill it. All right, they didn't get didn't kill it. My Jolt will kill it. Discharge upon this steel bird. There you go. Goodbye, Skarmory. Love you, but you gotta die. I don't have to level up. JP on level up, so that's cool. And now I must go back outside. Oh, I don't want to scare your face. I don't think so now I must go back outside, heal my Pokemon, and then end this part, because I've been recording for a long enough time. Okay. Please heal my Pokemon. Yes, I'm so thankful they put this guy here. Thank you, Game Freak Nintendo and Pokemon Company and Satoshi Sodiri for putting him there. Anyway, I'm going to save and I'm going to end this part. So... That wraps up this part of Pokemon White 2, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I continue my way through Victory Road and all that good stuff. And, uh, once this finishes saving. Alright, bye bye humans!